Hi kids, we're not in my living room today. We're out on the farm, walking through the woods, and we came across this big hole in the ground. I actually know what this hole is. This hole is gonna be the basement for a house our friends, Tad and Cora, are building here on the farm. My question is, how did this hole get here? I think it might be Mike Mulligan and his steam shovel, Mary Ann. I think they were here and dug this hole for Tad and Cora's basement. I think we should go back to my living room and see how this hole might have got here. All right, we're back in my living room now, and we brought Mike Mulligan and his steam shovel with us. This is a classic book, and we're going to read it right now. Mike Mulligan and his steam shovel. Mike Mulligan had a steam shovel, a beautiful red steam shovel. Her name was Mary Ann. Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann had been digging together for years. It was Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann and some others who dug the great canals for the big boats to sail through. So this was once land, and Mary Ann and Mike Mulligan dug that canal. It was Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann and some others who lowered the hills and straightened the curves to make the long highways for the automobiles. And it was Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann and some others who dug the deep holes for the cellars of the tall skyscrapers in the big cities. When people used to stop and watch them, Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann used to dig a little faster and a little better. Then along came the new gasoline shovels and the new electric shovels and the new diesel motor shovels and took all the jobs away from the steam shovels. Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann were very sad. That's diesel shovels and gasoline shovels and no one wanted to hire the old fashioned steam shovel. No steam shovels wanted. Very sad. All the other steam shovels were being sold for junk, but Mike loved Mary Ann. He couldn't do that to her. Then one day, Mike read in a newspaper that the town of Popperville was going to build a new town hall. We are going to dig that cellar of that town hall, said Mike to Mary Ann. And off they started. All the other steam shovels were being sent away to the junk heap. Very sad. They left the canals and the highways and the big cities where no one wanted them anymore and went way out in the country. They crawled along slowly till they came to the little town of Popperville. When they got there, Mike Mulligan spoke to Henry B. Swap, one of the select men. I heard, he said, that you are going to build a new town hall. Mary Ann and I will dig the cellar for you in just one day. What? said Henry B. Swap. It would take a hundred men at least a week. Sure, said Mike, but Mary Ann can dig as much in a day as a hundred men can dig in a week. 
though he wasn't quite sure this was true. They started in early the next morning. Soon a little boy came along. Do you think you will finish by sundown, he said to Mike Mulligan. Sure, said Mike. If you stay and watch us, we always work faster and better when someone is watching us. We're getting ready to dig. Then... Mrs. McGillicuddy, Henry B. Swap, and the town constable came over to see what was happening, and they stayed to watch. Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann dug a little faster and a little better. So here comes Mrs. McGillicuddy, Henry Swap, and the constable, and as soon as they start watching, Mary Ann and Mike Mulligan work harder and faster and better. This gave the little boy a good idea. He ran off and told all his friends in town, and they stopped and stayed to watch. That made Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann dig a little faster and a little better. Do you work faster and better when you have some folks come and take a look at you? Clang, clang, clang! The fire department arrived. They had seen the smoke and thought there was a fire. Then the little boy said, why don't you stay and watch? When they heard the fire engine, the children in the school across the street couldn't keep their eyes on their lessons. The teacher called out a long recess and the whole school came out to watch. Now they're getting quite a crowd out there. Now, the girl who answers the telephone called up the next towns and told them what was happening in Popperville. All the people came over to see if Mike Mulligan and his steam shovel could dig the cellar in just one day. The more people came, the faster Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann dug. Never had Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann had so many people to watch them. Never had they dug so fast and so well. And never had the sun seemed to go down so fast. Dirt was flying everywhere, and the smoke and the steam were so thick that the people could hardly see anything. But listen, bang, bang, crash, slam, louder and louder, faster and faster. Look at Mary Ann go. Woo! She's got a smile on her face, too. If the steam shovel had a face. Then suddenly it was quiet. Slowly the dirt settled down. The smoke and steam cleared away. And there was the cellar, all finished. The sun was just going down behind the hill. Hooray, shouted the people. Hooray for Mike Mulligan and his steam shovel. They have dug the cellar in just one day. Suddenly, the little boy said, how are they going to get out? Mike Mulligan looked around at the four square walls and the four square corners, and he said, we've dug so fast, and we've dug so well, we've quite forgotten to leave a way out. So there are Mike and Mary Ann down in the bottom of the hole. Nothing like this had ever happened before in Popperville. Everybody started talking at once, and everybody had a different idea, and everybody thought his idea was the best. Now, the little boy had another good idea. Why couldn't we leave Mary Ann in the cellar and build the new tall town hall above her? Let her be the furnace for the new town hall, and let Mike Mulligan be the janitor. Everybody's trying to figure this one out. 
the little boy came up with an idea. Why not, said all the people. So they found the ladder, and they climbed down into the cellar to ask Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann. Why not, said Mike Mulligan. So it was decided, and everybody was happy. They built the new town hall right over Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann. It was finished before winter. Now, when you go to Popperville, be sure to go down in the cellar of the new town hall. So Mike and Mary Ann are down there in the basement while they're building the whole town hall right over them. Let's see. There they'll be. Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann, Mike in his rocking chair and Mary Ann beside him, warming up the meetings in the new town hall. What a great ending to the story. It was time for the steam shovels to be retired, so they took Mary Ann's steam engine and turned her into a furnace to heat up the water for the radiators. And now she and Mike Mulligan are living happily ever after. And remember when I said this book was a classic? What does a classic mean? Well, a classic is a book that's so good that people read it for years and years. And when I got this book for Christmas, I took it into Mrs. Snow's class down at Inwood Primary, and I held it up and said, I got this book for Christmas, Mike Mulligan and his Steam Shovel. And a little boy named Levi went, the steam shovel's name is Mary Ann. I said, Levi, how did you know that? He said, my mamma has this book and she knows the story. And I've read this book many times at my mamma's house. And I said, well, Levi, if that's so, you want to come up here and read this book with me next week? And Levi said, yes. He said, I'll get that book up my mamma's and I'll practice. And Levi came into the class with me the next week and we read Mike Mulligan and his steam shovel together. And Levi did such a good job that the teacher there that day, who was a substitute, said, I remember that story. And she was older than me. So when you think about a classic book, think about a book that your mamma and your papa may have read, or even your great-grandma and your great-papa might have read. And if they know that story, it's a classic, and you should be sure to read it. And even better, if you read it with them, you'll all have a good time. So keep your eyes open for classic books. Maybe we can find another one to read next time. Bye.